Hello, Miss Anderson here, and I am going to show you some tips and tricks to use with PDFs that you will see throughout the Epic Ed curriculum. So here I am on an assignment that has a PDF, and you'll notice that a PDF is a document that has text and it may have images on it as well. And so this one is right next to questions about the story. And these questions, you have to click one and then two, and then three, sometimes you'll see the questions all down the row, but this one, you click on the buttons. Now, sometimes the PDF will be all on its own on the page. Now, I want to show you a few of the buttons that you can use with PDFs. First and foremost, there is a print button. So if you like to mark up the text and circle words and sketch note on the page, you can print this off if you have a printer at home by using that print button. You can also download this to your computer if you want to save the story and use it later. So you can download it right here with this button. Say this PDF had a art print. A famous artist drew something and you want to analyze it from different perspectives. And so you can use this rotate counterclockwise button. You won't use this for stories more than likely, but it is there for you. This button expands the page so that you can see the full page at once. This button I like to use most frequently because it allows me to zoom in. As you can see, I wear glasses, and so I like to see big words so that I can see everything very well. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit, and then I can scroll. And if I want to zoom out, I just use the minus key. Now, if I click on the hamburger right here, I can see how many pages are in this PDF. I can see there's eight pages and I can go to a certain page. So say this question over here asks about page three. I can, instead of scrolling to page three, I can click the hamburger and I can go right to page three to check out the text. Now, if you notice that you need the page blown up to uh, your computer size, that's just fine. What I would do is I would download it. So I'm gonna click the download button. It's going to download to my computer. And as you can see, it downloaded right here. So I'm going to click on that. And now it's really blown up for me. It does open in another tab. So to get back to your questions, you're going to have to look for the EE tab right here. And then I can just click back into my questions. But if you need the PDF blown up a little bit more uh, than these minus and plus buttons, you can download it to your computer, open it up, and then it will be bigger for you. All right, those are my tips and tricks for PDFs. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your teacher. I hope you're having a wonderful day.